Odysseus was the king of Ithaca, and he was a very brave warrior. He and his men were returning from the Trojan War. While they were sailing, they came across a beautiful, strange island, deep with soft grass and well-watered springs. They docked their ship on the island, hoping to find some food. With grumbling stomachs, Odysseus and his men went searching for food. Beautiful as the place was, there lived a race of giants in the island. They were the Cyclops, giant, rude creatures, each having but one eye in the middle of their forehead. One of them was Polyphemus, the son of Poseidon. The men wandered around searching, and they came upon a cave full of sheep and crates of milk and cheese. The men were all four stealing the cheese and a few lamps and taking them back to the ship as fast as possible. But Odysseus decided to linger a bit longer. After some time, Polyphemus the Cyclops returned to the cave. He had one eye in the middle of his forehead, as did all other Cyclops. If the Greeks were shocked, Polyphemus was pleasantly surprised. For here before him, in his own cave, was a delicious treat. Polyphemus went to the door of the cave and rolled a great stone into the opening so that the exit was blocked. He then promptly snatched up the nearest two of Odysseus's men and popped them into his mouth. Once he was full, he stretched himself through the cavern and slept all night long. Odysseus could do nothing but wait. He knew that even if he were successful in killing the monster, they could never remove that great rock from the door. Not even 20 horses could pull that rock away. The next morning, the Cyclops ate two more men for his breakfast. He then rolled away the stone, led out his herd of sheep, and rolled the stone back to close the cave. Desperate, Odysseus devised a plan. He and his men took a large stick, carved the end to a sharp point, and hid it before the monster returned. When the Cyclops returned, Odysseus welcomed him and offered Polyphemus some strong wine he had brought with him. But the Cyclops had never drunk wine before, and it went straight to his head. Before passing out, Cyclops asked him his name. Nobody, the hero replied. As soon as Polyphemus went to sleep, Odysseus and his men drove the needle-sharp stick into the giant's eye. The giant let out a terrible scream and raged around the cave, calling for help. Other Cyclopses who lived nearby came running to see what was the cause of this commotion. What happened to you? They called from outside the cave. Nobody has hurt me, wailed the Cyclops. Nobody came into my cave and did this to me. Other Cyclops were baffled by Polyphemus's cries, since he insisted that nobody was harming him. Confused, they all went back to bed. When it was morning, Odysseus and his men escaped from the cave unseen by the blind Polyphemus by clinging to the bellies of the monster's sheep as they went out to graze. When Polyphemus realized the deception, he rushed to the seaside where Odysseus and his men had already set sail. As they sailed away from the harbor, Odysseus called out to Polyphemus, laughing at him and telling him that it was not nobody but he, Odysseus, who had blinded him and fooled him. 